generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a piping hot cup of tea, so I'm going to leave it where it is for now and talk about what we did in the previous episode. Well, building, as you are probably well aware, we managed to get in a lot of the basics, kitchen canteen, some of the extras, and also placed the flooring and the yard texture, which is pretty nice. In this episode, I'm going to go to foundation of building brick and spend a ridiculous amount of money on building the left-hand side, uh, the right hand side and then this little strip along here because ah, actually to be honest uh, th that as well basically we're spending all the money on foundations because we need to get this thing fit for prisoner habitation there is a grant completion which was I believe the long-term investment anyway over to a large jail door which will go in actually no what we'll do is we'll put in a couple of doors firstly we need a staff door in there and I mean technically we can have a stuffed door there and there, and that should make this a legit room. That bin will be dismantled, and then what else did I want to do? Uh, yeah, we need a, a door in and around here. We'll put a couple of doors in. Objects jail door will go in. I could put a jail door, I could use a standard door. I haven't yet decided. Certainly going to go with staff doors at the back there. Uh, for the chapel and other things, we will need to put that in, but um, yeah, let's just work on that one, that one, and uh, we can sort the doors out later so yes lots of building to be undertaken i just want to check out our grants first we've got cell block b uh, prisoner acclimatization and engagement a reform through education initiative as well i'm going to go with prisoner acclimatization and engagement which is fine so yeah uh, building progress was fine and we've got stuff set up but we really do want to get this thing fit for prisoners really to, uh, towards the end of this episode i really do, really do want to get uh, prisoners in sooner rather than later so we need in more expansion on the basics so the kitchen and canteen is technically built but obviously we do need more cookers and fridges more stuff in the canteen and serving tables etc and we need to set up patrol routes and no go areas and then make sure we've got let's say some of these grants on the left hand side done so visitation rights governmental security ratings we can get all of that and also the prison acclimatization all of those three should be done in this episode also been a lot of discussion regarding the cell blocks and how basically the showers although they are fine we would probably benefit from shifting them, as in this was going to be like a security room followed by a very small common room. Now the problem with that is that because we've got gangs, as soon as we get gang leaders and the gangs start to make plans, they can take over common rooms. So if we don't have this, there's only one common room that can be owned, whereas we have lots of little ones, then we're going to see a lot more interaction with the, uh, the gang takeover stuff, which is not necessarily a good thing, but at least it might be an entertaining thing. Um, however, showers as was rightly pointed out a lot of time fights end up in the showers and right in the morning after they all leave here for the shower time in the morning hence putting showers in cells i always avoid that as a rule especially for high risk facilities because it doesn't feel right where they all have individual showers however i do agree that it's probably the way to go because it saves room and also it stops the prisoners fighting and they can they can take uh, you know they can take care of their needs in their own cell so that means a bit of an overhaul but I'm totally fine with that. Let me just go to max speed while they crack on with the building. Uh, yeah, it does require a little bit of an overhaul, but that's fine. And it does, it doesn't necessarily break the theme because, well, we've done so many prisons throughout the decades. It feels like actually, is it decade? Uh, <laughs> could be coming close. Um, yeah, but, but basically, we need to. Yeah, we can do we can do whatever we want, is what I'm saying. Um, so over to our objects and then dismantle object and basically we're going to dismantle all of these objects in here. So luckily there is the exact amount of material in here that I need for the rest of the uh, the rest of the work. So let me just crack on with that. Obviously they're going to uh, place all of the lighting in all of these new buildings. So it's going to take them quite a while to do that, and we still need to put in the internal walls. But let me just let the let the guys crack on there. Um, once they've done that, I will obviously place the uh, the showers in. Now, I would like the showers to be in the corner, but honestly, I'm not dismantling all the toilets to then put that in there, and I still think where the toilets are is most likely the best place for it, simply because uh, it's further away from the wall. So this should be 
acceptable and you know we'll we'll settle with acceptable obviously it means that the shower will no longer be needed so we're going to remove that and then that brings up the discussion of what on earth are we going to do with this now my original plan was to seal that off put in a wall across there open that up and then have one two three four five six seven solitary cells it would end up being but i'm not going to do that uh we do need oh that's actually slightly wrong anyway let me remove that distance of four so we'll have a security room at the front so we can still uh chat with prisoners there and the walls will go along here and then yeah that's where it was going to go and have one two three four five six seven solitaries and that is fine it will work perfectly acceptable uh, It'll be perfectly acceptable, should I say. But I'm going to cut it down to one, two, three, four, five solitary cells. And, I mean, that's still over 25% of the capacity of each of the cell blocks anyway. So it should be hopefully enough. If not, we can make a we can make a one that's somewhere else. Um, and we still have our little common room that's only three by four. And obviously the security room as well. Another way to do it, and I was genuinely thinking of doing this, is to extend the wall across there down and like that. Solitary will still be in, but it'll be in a slightly different form factor. Uh, that needs to be four there. And it would be that, basically. Basically, um, so you'd have double the amount either side, and also you'd have a lot more in terms of it's easy to do that a lot more in terms of the common room, but it also really squeezes this corridor, and I don't think it's going to work uh, mechanically and aesthetically. So we are going to, like I say, go with this. That's the compromise that we're going to make there, and it's going to come along like so, and then that'll be fine, and we'll do that. Anyway, while we're waiting for that, let me go over to our materials and then brick wall, and I want to place brick walls in and along some of these buildings. Obviously, there's going to be several uh, buildings here. A lot of them uh, are not yet designated. I haven't yet decided exactly what we're going to do with... Uh, a lot of these, but let's just uh, put some of these in. Oh, actually, that there, we are completely doing redoing, because that's solitary, and this is protective. We're not going to have solitary in there. There's no need to do that. Um, while I'm on, I might as well do this. While we've got the while we've got the tool out, and I'll put all of these in. Now this is inevitably going to trap some of the some of the workers, so I need to make sure that we can sort that out. So we'll go to demolish wall, demolish that wall in the centre there. That's fine. Um, we also need to go to objects and some doors. We need to put doors in here. So this is a um, this is a chapel up here. So the chapel entrance will be down the bottom a staff door will go there this is the library which i don't think we no laundry which i don't think we need access in the back there but i'm still going to do that just so we can well we can bring stuff in that way that should be acceptable cleaning cupboards similar thing we don't need access but we will put it in there this is the classroom which we do need access uh, again access will go down there this building doesn't have any purpose but i will put a door in there i'll also put a large jail door in there and in there and in here we're most likely going to open it up for expansion but for now we'll just put that door in and that'll give her, give us access to the buildings uh this one ugh, i don't really know what's going to happen so i'm just going to put a door in for now and then unpause it and hopefully nobody will get stuck but let's just see if that actually happens um building brick i do need to place in the uh, foundation along here i forgot to do the foundation down the back there oh with that is that not acceptable? Um, oh, it is acceptable. That is fine. And we're going to also... I did say there's going to be a bit of remodeling here. Uh, demolish the walls along there. So, a lot of remodeling. Uh, demolish the walls there. But hopefully everything is just about right. Good. So, hopefully all that is fairly sensible in terms of our positioning and what we've done. And indeed in the... Hang on, I'm going to put these lights... Um, Move along like so. That's fine. Right, okay. Yeah, so hopefully this is all okay. Let's go ahead then and... What do I need to do? We need to run in some power into this room here. So that'll just go in like so. And, well, we need to sort out the... Oh, I guess I'm going to have to do that as well. There's no lighting in this corridor, <laughs> I'm, I'm aware. But it shouldn't matter too much. I may go and change that. Uh, this room, obviously, will have to alter there. So over to our objects. Remove all those objects. Put them back in there. Over to rooms. We want a uh, infirmary. 
to expand to there. While we're in here, let's do all of the rooms. So we need a visitation, which I have now designated. We want a chapel, which I cannot find. There it is. I want in the laundry, which is um, there. Cleaning cupboard, which is there. A classroom, which is there. And then I haven't decided on this yet. And this is a common room, which I guess a common room we're going to designate like that. And then we're going to put in a door either side of it like so. Right. Obviously, a lot of this stuff is not built, so we need to sort that out. We need to build a visitation room. It's apparently not built. Okay, yeah, it's, it's not technically. So the way to do this is I don't want to use visitor tables. But I have to place three visitor tables just for the sake of the grant, so I will do that. Um, so that visitor room should be legitimately completed in but a moment. We need pool tables, we need two TVs, we need all of the usual stuff. So the TVs are going to go, we'll put one there and we'll put one in there. This is going to be a symmetrical thing and I'm not going to overdo this. It's going to have the bare minimum in here and pool tables which we can probably put in like so and maybe put a bench in there as well and then we'll put some other stuff down here there's all sorts of things we can actually i say there's all sorts of things we can place it's a common room not so much these days there's a lot of stuff you can place in the modern prison architect but we're running 2018 anniversary edition so there's a lot less that it recommends placing in here we haven't got weights benches they're gonna, probably going to go Probably going to go outside, I would imagine. Anyway, let's go ahead and put in... Well, let's finish off this. We need at least five phone booths. That is a relatively easy one to do. Let's go ahead and go to phone booths. I'm going to go over to the canteen. And we're going to put a big row of phone booths up the top there. One, two, three, four, five. It's actually five that I need, so that is fine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be more than enough for this. While we're over here, we are going to build... Uh, not all of this. There's no reason to build... The full thing. This is the uh, the canteen here, and then serving tables are really really cheap, so they'll go in like so. And we've got a few gaps that we can fill as well. Uh, Thirty seven grand, so that's fine. We can pick up another grant, which is cell block B. I'm going to pick up. We need to get uh, the kennel and the armory sorted, so let's get those things now. So the armory will go back there. The kennel will go in front there. And I do want to place. Uh, actually, I'm going to dismantle that staff door because the only people that go through into the kennel and armory, well, the only people that should go in there, apart from maybe cleaners, uh, will be the staff that require access to the kennel and the armory, so armed staff and things like that. In fact, there's the cleaner proving that <laughs> they do, in fact, require some access there. Anyway, I'm just going to wait for them to remove that door. And I'm putting a solitary door in because solitary is the toughest type of door in this build. I'm just going to remove both the kennel and the armory designations. We don't need those. And then let's put in the dog crate, which I still can't remember which orientation this should be, but that should be acceptable. Over to the over to the armory and we'll place the guard locker in there. We'll place a couple of uh, the guard, sorry, the, the lockers in either side, and then we'll put in the centre the um, the armory thing. And then we need a table somewhere, which I think we can place it. I mean, I'm tempted to put place two tables there and then have rows of stuff either side. But that's that in now, and that means we can hire both armed guards, one, two, and also dog handlers, one, two, three, four, four. Right, fine. And we need to assign them. So our staffing assignment will be in, remind myself again, uh, deployment. And we have armed patrols. Armed patrol will be down the middle there. Job done. And also we'll have an armed patrol. They're just going to walk up and round. Uh, people have asked about snipers as well. Yes, we probably are going to put some snipers in the yard, but I just can't really afford to do so at this stage. Uh, I'm just going to remove that designation and put it up the top there. It just sits a little bit better with me. And then, oh, this is where we potentially have a problem. Um, I do want a dog patrol, but we can't connect up these patrols because we no longer have the option, like there is in the current game, for a, uh, for a patrol route that's a different colour so we've just got standard 
This is just, you can assign patrol routes. That's that's what you can do. However, we can't assign, uh, I think it's like the magenta patrol and whatever, so they can't cross essentially, but it's not too much of an issue. What is an issue is that we are losing uh, 2,650 generic units of currency per day. But there you are. Um, I think we'll assign dogs in here as well. That should be fine. Right, okay, so we've got that patrol done. I'm going to go utilities and two pipes. And the pipes are just going to extend like so to obviously connect up to the uh, to the showers. Hopefully they don't... St hopefully the, the grey water and the other water is... Um, yeah, hopefully, it, hopefully it's not connected. I'm also going to dismantle these utilities just for the sake of aesthetics really so uh, visitation is in I'm now going to dismantle the visitor tables because we are not going to use those visitor tables we are using a different kind of visitor table which is going to be hideously expensive <laughs> um, okay so I'll do that now maybe no actually while they're doing that let me get laundry sorted so over to objects and to our laundry machines one two three laundry machines for now followed by one two three ironing board the table also needs to be placed which to be honest it seems to fit in quite nicely at the back there and then not that it really matters but you just place a boatload of laundry baskets because they get shifted around anyway so that is fine. Let me just speed up to max speed while the workers crack on with that one. We also will need to connect up with the electrical cable, the uh, laundry machines, and then a small pipe as well. I'll probably run it along a bit further because I think we're probably going to have like five laundry machines in there anyway. There you go. You can see all of the stacks have been ordered and they're now bringing all of the stuff to the laundry. In terms of grants, we've got MaxSec infrastructure, which I'm going to pick up, which gives us even more money. We need to increase the size of security force, unlock body armor through bureaucracy and tasers through bureaucracy. That is grading. So let's unlock, um, let's go for prison policy. We'll unlock uh, surveillance. We'll unlock tasers, body armor. Uh, legal team and that should be about right yeah okay classroom and the chapel are required although at the moment what I can do in terms of logistics is go and max out our laundry max out our cleaning cupboard and then get a grant by putting three in the kitchen and then removing uh, that from said kitchen because there's no way I'm allowing uh, them working in the kitchen when there's lots of sharp objects about we've got still got education reform we got also prison manufacturing facility and the problem is if i pick one of these up now i'll never be able to get some of these other ones here so i'm a bit hesitant to do so yeah i'm hesitant to do so um while the workers are cracking on i've the actually have pretty much cracked on let's go ahead then and do solitary so Across there, and also while we're at it, we'll go for a security room, which will go at the front there. Over to our objects and to a solitary door. We'll place solitary doors all the way across like so. And then a large jail door on the front there like so. And I may even think about at some point... Uh, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to build it. Uh, we're going to put in our flooring going to the, to the entrance there. And this is probably going to be... Standard flooring, as is this, and this, up to there. And I haven't yet decided what the rest's going to be. But that's all done. That'll be done. That's okay. That runs across, that runs down. And there we go. There's flooring in here. I haven't yet decided what flooring we're going to put in the cell block. So I'll get on with that. I can put toilets in the solitary area. Um... And I am, because normally I don't. By the way, them little things I'm clicking there and then uh, quickly disappearing off is uh, notebook pages. It's a little extra in the game. It's, it's notebooks about uh, design ideas and that sort of thing. So solitary here. Uh, we'll have it so that, you know, this is maybe... I like it off to one side, actually. It looks pretty good off to one side with a couple of chairs there and then a filing cabinet. So this is mainly for interrogation of prisoners interrogation is that the right term hmm whatever it is it's for it's where prisoners go and we can have a little chat with them so common rooms in we can move that uh solitary we can move that uh protective custody um well I'll, I'll have to build one at some point 
parole we'll have to sort out as well but it's not something we need right this minute but we do need to figure out visitation so visitation you have visitor booths and the way it works is that the visitors go on one side and the prisoners on the other and we're gonna spend a ridiculous amount of money doing this but there's our visitor stuff in the door is we could just go with a standard door there's no reason we can't just go with a standard door. I think I planned off a jail door, but standard door is totally fine. I mean, I could do, I could do a door like that. There you go. Something we don't normally do. <laughs> Why not? There's no reason we can't. Okay. Um, more flooring because we can. We're going to go with, my favorite is ceramic tiles in this build, but it's also, that just cost me five grand. Exactly five grand to put ceramic tiles in there. Ooh, I want the same in the laundry and the cleaning cupboard. There's another three grand. Good. Obviously the canteen ain't going to get that treatment. There's no way I can afford that. Staff room, wooden floor. Uh, maybe these offices, wooden floor as well. You know, I just can't afford to put flooring everywhere uh, at this stage. So, we are... Unlocking tiers through bureaucracy, build a CCTV monitor, place CCTV cameras throughout the prison. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go for objects and then uh, CCTV. Put that there and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a bit dodgy doing it like that. You think, why, why have I done that? Well, we don't need it. We don't have fog of war on. It's essentially a redundant thing. But we need to build it just for the sake of the grand. Um, unlocking tasers, we're up to 55%, which is acceptable. And we need to increase the size of our security force. And there we go, and that'll be our MaxSec infrastructure complete. Right, there's just the classroom and the chapel to sort, and this is pretty much alright. Let me check out our... what was I going to do? I was going to do... Uh, objects, chapel, and let's put in the altar, which will be slightly offset for reasons, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, could we place it on that side? No, we can't. So I'll place an altar in there, and then we need to place in pews. So what I like to do, place a row of pews down the centre there, and then on either side we can place prayer mats, and that seems to fit quite nicely if I remove that one, so there's a bit of a gap. Is that the right orientation, that? Doesn't really have an orientation, does it, per se? No, okay. And there we go. Place a couple of prayer mats either side as well. Good. Move all of the planning. Classroom, let's sort that out. So classroom is office desk followed by school desks. Um, how many do you need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen. Too many. There we go. Twenty-one. And we've got no grants. I'll pick up reform through... Uh, reform through education initiative and the other one will leave because it's like crackdown on drugs and tool cleanup and that sort of thing so yeah right finally let's furnish uh well let's let's build this uh flooring wise should i say i do like just standard concrete tiles in here so i genuinely think i'm just going to concrete tile the whole thing um Sort of. We'll do that. Mosaic floor can be the common room colour. Security and the solitary. Well, solitary, we're going to have metal floor. What if we do metal floor across the whole thing? Hmm. Metal floor, floor, then concrete like that. Okay, that's fine. Chapel and stuff. Oh, we do need a nice colour in here. We're going to go with fancy tiles. Kennel and armory. We need some flooring. Sims Pro. I'll sort that out later. We need some flooring in there. And we definitely need some flooring in here. Okay. Let's finalise the security. So, we need 
metal detectors. There. I'd like one there. Going in here. In here. Followed by there and there to the entrance to the to the cell box. Large jail door can be locked open for the cell blocks. As can it be locked open for the kitchen canteen. Oh kitchen of course. I haven't uh, I haven't extended the kitchen. There's that going along there. Fridge will go along like that. I'm very tempted to put fridges along there. Yeah, very tempted. I think that should be fine for now, for the amount of prisoners we're going to get. But what I'm not con uh, what I am concerned with is power. Oh, actually, power's okay. I've put loads of capacitors in. So there. <laughs> yeah, star pathfinding working well. <laughs> What's going on there? For some reason they just went inside there and just yes, work along at an angle. Oh, that looks all right, doesn't it? I think it's all right. Um, hmm. Apparently, the altar is left to place. How strange. So, what's to sort? It's deployment, isn't it? Staff only. All that in here. So this visitation, it's a bit weird, but basically this is staff only, this is staff only, and this is staff only. That includes visitors. And it means that the prisoners can go in here. Uh, whoops. Staff only, staff only, staff only, staff only areas. That's much more readable than the current one, surely. Look, that's just higher contrast. Okay, that's set up. Don't know why those walls you can have stuff only. Might as well. Right. Um, let's put the grid in. Oh, grid's in. That's good. Where's the altar? Where is the altar? There it is, there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> as we focused on it, one of the workers... Self so came along. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. Don't worry about it. I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> and I think we're there. So, we're going to leave it there for now. Next episode 18 high security prisoners. I'm sure there's things we need to sort out different patrol routes, different staffing levels. Speaking of that, already. Four more cooks. I think we need more armory. No, we need. I think we do need another armed soldier. There we go. What we like for this? Remote access. We'll pick that up, as well as intelligence. And... Yeah, that's us. Alright, we're ready. And we'll be getting prisoners in the next episode. Well, what do we need to do before that happens in the next 14 hours? Well, we need to start out regime and policy, don't we? That's what we'll do at the start of next episode. And then we'll also go down programs. Either way, that's been a bit of Prison Architect and probably one of the most speedy builds we've done. <laughs> that felt like we've spent a lot of time building. Um, or rather, a short time building a lot, should I say. I think that's true. I'm just uh, putting a couple of lights in here because it just looks a bit too dark. It will require us to extend power in here. That should be acceptable. And there we go. Right, we're going to leave it there. And next episode, we will get some prisoners. As always, hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.